Okay, it's morning after the race. We are just uh, taking Flint for a little walk, a little breakfast for Flint, and our final thing we're doing at Oceanside before we head out of town is having breakfast at the, the hotel, re the Piper, the hotel restaurant actually, which looks pretty spectacular. I wish I could eat everything, but... Well, I think we'll just have to sit here for a bit until we're hungry again. <laughs> hey, guys. How's the race? Very excited. This is, like, the way I do a buffet is, like, I'll get one of everything, a small amount, and then I'll go back and get more of my favorite thing. We are on our way from, where are we going from? On our way from San Diego. We've been driving up the 395, which is a road I've always wanted to drive on. Um, basically over here we got the Sierras and we're headed to Mammoth Lakes. We're <laughs> amazingly meeting Nick, who is coming straight from the Grammys, which if you don't already know, he is involved in, basically he won a Grammy. He, he produced a song that was on an album that won best contemporary blues album. So we're anyway, we're meeting him in Mammoth Lakes to celebrate, do a little camping. And we are, I have no idea where we are right now for this rest stop. They are all around here. We could go tonight. Wow. Is this not amazing? This is insane. And we have it all to ourselves, which uh, is rare. Yeah, I can imagine. Because usually there's a few people here.
for you doing that ISO. That's just that's what it's. I've set it. Okay, got it. So we I could change it to automatically go to one hundred or right. sixteen hundred. I just like three. I don't know why it's at three twenty. Yeah, got no. That's good. It makes sense. It's like kind of in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it. That's at the coffee shop. What are, what are we doing? So this is called Geological Hot Creek. And I happened upon it, actually my girlfriend figured out that there's this place right near where we camp. There's a lot of open land here. And there's this unbelievable, there's some springs underneath, but then there's this river that winds and behind you see the Sierra. And I just think it's one of the most beautiful things you can see for a long ways from here. And don't go in the water because you will die. It's over 200 degrees. Holy. Okay, yeah, I was not ready for that. Eric, what's the, where's the silliest place you've ever seen anyone ride a trainer? Inside of a house. I guess that's true. If you're gonna ride the trainer, I should just where's the silliest place I've seen someone ride a bicycle inside their house? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the most unique place I've ever seen someone ride a trainer. And just before people get on, hey, hey, before people start hating, yeah. She's riding there because you guys don't have gravel bikes here and that's the only kind of riding that we have close to here, right? Yep. So exactly. We, we thought it would be funny to hook it up to the battery. Mm -hmm. It's just doing something weird, I don't get it. Like the stabilization's weird.
glad we did this. This or the i5? 